Hello and welcome. My name is Logan, aka Coding Doctor 101. In today's Flowrhythm video tutorial, I will be showing you how to use the if statement inside of Flowrhythm, which is located under control. So on this, you have a true and a false side. And how the if statement works, it will only trigger if something is true. So if x is less than 10 or if x is greater than 10, however you want to word it, if that is true, it will go down the true side. If it isn't or else, as you'll see in later programming in software, it will go down the false side here. So the best way to think of this, if, some, if, if something is true, it will happen else either it will not do anything or it will do a separate function. So we are going to create a small program that will calculate tip based off the bill price. So first we will declare and we want a real number and we will declare bill. Next we'll do another declare and we will do total bill. And when this will also be a real number. We'll hit OK. And then finally, our last declare will be tip. And this is also a real number. So next we need an output. And inside this output, we will say how much is the bill. We hit OK. And now this is where we get our input from the user of bill. So with this, now we have the price of the bill. This is where we will put our if statement right after our input. So we'll do if and inside and inside here if the bill is less than $25 is what we will type in. So if the bill is less than $25, it would, it's going to come down the true side right here. If it isn't, it will come down the false side. So on if statements, you want it to trigger on true 90% of the time. You want it to be on true as much as you possibly can. So make sure you word your condition right here where it will go on the true side. So we'll hit OK. So now we'll cap we're gonna do an assign and we'll do tip equals bill times 0 0.15. And the zero has to be here for flogger rhythm in front of that decimal or else you'll get this error right here because it does not understand why you're putting a decimal in front of it without the zero. And, and as soon as we put the zero, it works. So we're just going to copy this and paste it onto the false side, but we're also going to change it. So instead of a point zero point one five, we're going to do zero point two zero. And we will hit OK. Now, well, out underneath this, if statement, we will come and we will do an assign. And here we will do total bill equals bill plus tip. And we'll hit OK. And then we will do an output here. And our output will say your bill comes to a total of space dollar sign in quotes and total bill and okay and now when we run it we will do twenty dollars and we get twenty three dollars so let me cap type in my calculator right here So we get, we did 20 times 0 
which is 3, and 20 plus 3 is 23. So our math is correct on here. So now, if we run this again, we're going to say the bill came to $30 this time. We'll hit enter, and now we have to pay $36 as of the total bill. And just to double check this, pull out the handy dandy calculator, and it's 30 times 0 0.20 as that is our new bill price right here and we see is total six so when we add that back into our thirty dollars the tip the total bill is correct at thirty six dollars as seen here now the if statement the if statement can be confused with the while loop which is very similar and they can use be used in a lot of the same places. A while loop triggers multiple times as long as the condition is true, whereas the if statement triggers only once. And if you find yourself having trouble trying to figure out when to use which one, talk yourself through this. If you find yourself if you find yourself saying if this happens, 90% of the time is an if statement and it simplifies a lot of the work you'll be doing. That's all I have for you. Till next time. And I will see you later.